Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it is time to play more Drill Down. Let's pick up where we left off. I think we had a few things we wanted to do. The first one we want to do is get research going. Let's get right off the destruction menu here. We want to get research going on water usage, so we need to route those materials. Before we do, I want to deal with this rock situation over here. Let's clean this up a bit. We're getting rid of warehouses. Let's get rid of all of these. And we will... This is now empty. I think that can go. Boom. Let's get another barrel for this uh, gravel storage. Boom. Barrel here. We'll flip it around. Just like that. Boom. But before we fill this one up from the right side, I want to unload this stuff so I gotta rote whoops let's get out of the build menu let's rotate these belts and neck this up here for now temporarily and see if we can unload these other warehouses I don't know if we need all this material we could just you know throw it away I, I'm saving it just because I can might not need to do this but it's pretty easy to do. So we're just going to empty out this entire warehouse into this barrel. This holds 350. And these warehouses only hold 200. All right. With that moving along, let's get copper pipes into storage or into the science lab. We need 30. And we need to route a belt. We have so much stone. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. We can make throwaway belts all day long we just need to connect up to basically this belt here we'll take it all the way down or we can kind of come underneath and connect to this guy I think I'm just gonna go right here this is kind of a temporary belt and we're gonna release 30 of these guys let's get off the build menu uh, we'll release 30 so that means what 136 We'll let this thing run till we're down to 136. And they should find their way down into the science lab. One thirty-six. That's it. Again, that may be a temporary belt. We may rip it up. Now let's get the other ingredient. That is steel ingots. We've got a pipe for that. We need 50, so we're going to release 50 out of here. I think we've got them. That's easy. We'll release till we have 25 left. Make that 27. Alright, that should be it for that. These guys should all find their way into the science lab here. Okay, it looks like we managed to empty out that warehouse already. Let's delete that while we're waiting for other things to happen. Boom, sure. And then let's send in, how can we do this? Does this have room for more? This guy... Let me get off the destruction menu. This guy has room for 50 more. Let's fill that one up. Let's fill that one up real quick. Oops, get out of here. Release. And then we'll see if we can get this entire warehouse dumped into here. We might not be able to. Alright, that's it for that. Thought I turned this off, did I not? Alright, that one's full. 
this belt needs to rotate. Let me get off of a destruction. We want this guy over here. How much room does this guy have left? Only got a hundred or get another barrel. This one, we want to flip. Boom. And I think... <laughs> sorry, this is taking me a minute to figure out. This guy like that. Rotate it. That's fine. And then let's rotate these. Yeah, our research just got done. We'll take a look in a second. Clear this out. Then empty. Ooh, copper tube. We'll take a look here and see. I'm anxious. Go to the build menu. Let's empty this guy. And then that, we need to turn the filter on here. That'll fill up this barrel. This one's not going to empty out. That will allow this guy to empty out. And then we'll put a conveyor going this way. And we should be all set with it. All right. Keep your fingers crossed. Did we get more research that's going to allow us to get tin? <laughs> Let's see. Mine expansion. Ah, uh, perfect. Use heavy machinery to dig deeper into the earth. 10 steel plates and 150 iron ingots. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, man. Yeah, that's awesome. That is good for us. Okay. Very, very good. Let's chase after that right now. We need steel plates. Our steel is kind of weak. Kind of weak. Kind of weak, kind of weak, kind of weak. Where do we want to do steel plate production? We're kind of jammed in here. I could hop this belt and do steel plates over here. Just redirect this down. That might be reasonable. Look at all the coal now. Nice. What's our hold up now? Is it... Oh, it's problem this way. We need to turn this off. Oops. That's fine. That should catch up. We're waiting on iron ingots for more steel. But hopefully we'll be able to get um, tin when we do the, the new drill or whatever. All right, let's um, let's rotate this down for now. We'll put a convey. Let's see, what is this copper tube? Transports fluids. All right, let's put a conveyor bridge here. And let's temporarily route our steel ingots. Oops, not going to want to do it. If I zoom in, can you not connect? And out this way somewhere, right? We're going to take steel ingots out of our storage here. And turn them into plates and store them. Metalworking. Rolling machine. Takes ingots, gets us plates. Nothing too difficult. We just gotta feed them in. Let's do it. Uh, we'll rotate this belt up. We're still really slow on steel production. Super duper slow. We're probably going to have to figure out another solution for that or have another steel plant. Just looking for iron deposits. We're kind of chewing through them. Okay, that'll be plates. And then let's uh, get 
some barrels here. Probably just one to get us started. Not like that. Let's release. I hate to do this, but... Let's release all the steel plates. We don't have many. But let's do it and see if we can accumulate some plates at least. Hard. We just don't have a lot of steel ingot production. Okay, we'll feed the barrel. We'll get the 10 steel plates we need pretty quick. And then we've got 150 iron ingots. Let's see, where are we going to pull those from? We have a bunch here, right? Uh, Not a bunch, five. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Let's go ahead and we know we're going to do mine expansion. Let's just... Take it. I'm going to release the iron ingots we have here just to get rid of them. We don't need them in that storage. In fact, we can get rid of this warehouse too. This barrel is kind of full. But while we're thinking about this, let's do it. Let's rotate this down and... Put in a temporary conveyor just to clean out this inventory. Set the filter. Let's you can send that out. Boom. All of that can come out. I think it's gonna come into this barrel and then loop around. Should. Then we can get rid of that warehouse and it's a little you know, we're freeing up a little bit of space as we go. Good, 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 good. So we need 105 more iron ingots. We have a bunch of those stored somewhere. Is it here? 200 iron ingots. This is an opportunity to clean up this storage too. Let's turn this out of there. And then let's route this belt of iron ingots around and down and out. Uh, we can connect up to this belt. Right. There, right? That'll send them into our science lab. We need... We could send everything and just let the access go up in here. We've got this kind of crazy warehouse. Does it have any? No. Got all kinds of odds and ends we need to kind of get rid of. We can burn through some stone doing it. All right. What do we have going on? We've already kind of shut off the storage of iron ingots in here, right? We've got, we've got our own new iron ingot storage already set up. So this just needs to be emptied out really. Um, All right, how many do we need to release into here? We need 145. We've got 200 in here, but this is 200. We need 145, so seven, uh, sorry, 55. Let's release this till we get to 55. Then we'll clean up this whole area. We'll get rid of this warehouse. Okay, we gotta send these in till we get 55. We've already got no, we don't have the steel plates. We're making them. Should have those real soon. We'll have to route those over here too. So we're waiting for this warehouse to get down to 55. Keep an eye on it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool game. I like it quite a bit. I wish I had filter or the uh, splitters sooner though. That's the one thing that's kind of driving me crazy. I think this drill, this new thing that we just unlocked is going to allow us to find the tin and unlock a bunch of stuff that we can build and scale up on. I don't know if this is our only grid. Like they talk about in the description going multiple levels and stuff. I don't know if we have to do everything on this level. And just bring up ore from underneath. Whoops, I didn't close this off. I'm gabbing. Alright, let's... route this this way. 
and then we can bring this in and just vent, get rid of all this iron and store it in one spot and we can clear out a whole bunch of this stuff in fact we may even get rid of that research lab let's do it let's just start doing it uh, I can use the tool here boom to boom I may leave that one underneath doesn't hurt anything all this can go and we'll switch to single mode here I guess that can go that can go that can go that can go uh, this can go that can go and then we'll leave this We'll leave this as is. This is kind of a path if we wanted to send iron ingots over this way. What do we have over here? Wood coming in. This is our, yeah, our scaffolding. This should be converted into barrels too. Do we want to do that right here? Barrel, barrel, barrel? We could. We'll get to that. A little bit later let's get these tin or not tin steel plates up into the research lab oh i gotta redirect this up these are the extras we'll get rid of those and i just need to get 10 steel plates onto this belt up there shouldn't be a problem like i said we've got tons of stone conveyors just take stone that makes life easy for us. How about we come up this way, maybe? Here. There. Whoops, not quite. I want a splitter there. Let's pause just so stuff doesn't get routed crazy by accident. Bear bridge. There. Rotate. Boom. Okay, that looks right. And we just need to hook up to the belt that's going into the science lab. We have those all over the place, seems like. Uh, this will do it. That will do it. And we just need 10 of these. So let's unleash 10. Um, I gotta get out of the build mode. 10, so once we get down to 9, we'll stop. Not going. Why is it not going? What do I not have right here? Looks right. <clears throat> Let's try it again. Nine. Doesn't want to do it. Pump out from inventory. Hmm. What could be the issue? They're getting in there. That's the way out. Huh. It's usually something obvious. Uh, we're paused. That's the obvious thing right there. Boom. We need nine of these. Or do we need ten? So once we get to nine, we'll stop it. Okay, I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I had the game paused. It's usually a silly mistake on my part. Charcoal looks great for our steel production. Iron's holding steady. Not bad. Iron is holding steady. This coal supply, we'll see if it keeps up. These one, two, three, four, five mines, if they can keep up or not. I'm not sure. I think they will. And then eventually we want to do more copper production and finish what we were talking about over here. How is this guy doing? Not good. The dirt is not over. Filling. Let's see. Will it do it? I think it will only route one direction at a time. That's our problem here. We may have to just dedicate one dirt mine to every um, charcoal burner until we get better logistics blocks. Okay, this guy is blocked here. This needs to be rotated.
Just waiting for these plates to make their way through. What were we going to do? We were going to convert something else over to barrels. What was it? Uh, was it up here? Yeah, it was the scaffolding, right? Why don't we do a little bit of that right now? Just set the filters on these and they can all do their thing and now we've got output here that we want to route anywhere just to clear it out that can go and then we'll put a conveyor so we can empty this warehouse straight up Boom. And that gets us uh, better storage. Less, I think that's a lot less space for how much we're... That's over a thousand storage. This is only 200. We'll let that thing just keep on doing what it's doing. All right. Let's see. We got an issue here. Let's, let's rotate this just so these don't accidentally connect up when I do this. All right, that should kick off the research. There it goes. This is the drill. We got water. We never did look and see. Here it is, liquids. Okay, groundwater pump pumps up groundwater from deep down. Water boiler boils water to create steam and needs constant fueling to stay at high temperatures. Ooh, okay. More need for fuel. Hopefully we get more efficient fuel somehow. Maybe burning compacted coal or something. Maybe that makes it last longer. We have different ways to convert that coal. We didn't really look at that. And then we've got the condenser, which cools down steam and turns it into water. Okay, so there must be maybe a steam byproduct that we can tap into. The boiler produces steam. We'll see. All right, let's see what we got. We just uncovered something. Let's look at the science lab recipes. Nothing new, but we should be able to make these brownish plates now. I think if we can get to the tin. Let's see what the machines are. Miscellaneous and logistics. Oh, let's do logistics. Item lift transports items between two layers and places a sibling on the layer below. Okay, so it's like a two piece thing. Same thing with a shaft, probably for liquids. Good. Okay, steel ingots and steel steel tubes. Oh man, we don't have those. Do I have room to even belt this stuff? I guess I do. We could do steel tubes over here somewhere, I guess. I don't know, belt the steel ingots. We're, steel is a problem. We need a ton of it. We're not getting enough. Looks like we got an issue here with the iron supply now, right? We may need to tap into this guy. Why why don't we do it while we're looking at it? Let's just do it. This takes two seconds. Put a mine here. Down you go. Nope. We want the output this way. Oh, it's gonna inter, inter nope. That'll do right there. We wanna feed into this guy, this splitter or filter. I think this will work for us. Let's try it. You into you. That should work. That should route the stone where we want it and route the ore that we want where we want. We're going to get half stone, half ore, I think, out of that. But that's a little more iron supply. It looks like the coal's doing okay. In fact, it's starting to back up. That's interesting. But now, maybe if we get a little more iron here, maybe it'll help. Uh, what could we? Could we do anything about that? 
we could put a barrel of coal right here. Right? This filter's not doing anything. I don't think. This one right in... This guy. He's just always going to send to the left. But if we put a barrel here... That would give us a nice buffer and prevent this from backing up. Let's try it. Let's try it. Slowly improve our technique. I don't know if they're going to let me wedge one in here or not. Right there is what I want. That solves a little problem for us, doesn't it? The barrels, I'm a big fan. Huge. Huge fan of the barrels. That is turning out to be a big boost for us. All right. Okay, miscellaneous. Here's what we're kind of most excited about. Shaft drill drills a vertical shaft to expand the mine. And it produces a lot of dust in the air. Okay. Takes water. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, is this like a one time thing? Look at that. 180 steel ingots. We have zero. Because we're processing them all right now. Man, that's intimidating. And concrete powder we gotta make. But I'm just not sure if this is a one-time thing. I mean, we got a one-time thing here to purchase it. That's not bad. We actually have the 30 steel plates. We could turn off steel plate production and move back to doing... Just, uh, storing up some ingots, maybe. How many do we have? 35. So this guy kicks up a lot of dust, and then it looks like you're gonna need this air purifier. Purifies the dusty air in a wide radius around itself. Oh, it's producing stone dust. Clears the air and produces stone dust. You gotta do something with that. This guy... It doesn't say how much dust it grows in the air. But I'm guessing once you supply water... You place this, you supply 75 liters of water... 180 steel ingots. Oh, man, that's painful. And 120 concrete powder. And I'm guessing... I don't know. I'm guessing it's going to let us pick an ore to bring up or something. I don't know. I don't know what to expect there. I really don't. But we're going to do one. It's just going to take some time, right? Let's get water going. Let's turn off the steel plate production temporarily. We'll let it get to 40. We'll let it get to 40. Okay, it's got enough ingots to get to 40. Let's turn off this filter. And start accumulating steel ingots again. We try, we're trying to amp up steel production. We've sent more ore down. Looks like coal may start falling behind. Because this is our coal supply right now for the, uh, for the iron ingot processing. And it looks like it's a little thin. I've got a little bit of dirt up here. Oh, I've got a bunch of dirt here. But we're not really using. We could... We could kind of half give up on this coal. We're not getting much out of it, man. We're not getting much... Production out of this. I wonder if we can upgrade these mines at some point. I think, like I said, I think there is a... Uh, something like a beacon. That would speed things up. Ooh, hey, we ran out of our supply of stone here. Let's route this conveyor belt a little stone over here. Pick this up and get this going. This can start producing. Off you go. And we can start filling up more stone bricks. Oh, we had something here to take care of too, right? What was it? This guy is done. This warehouse is ready to go. Bye-bye. Figure that out. Yep. 
That goes, that goes, that goes. And then the goal is this comes in, goes down, goes up. So this needs to go. And that really doesn't matter. We'll get rid of it. Okay, that's what we're doing. And then now we need to hook this up too. This is done. We can get rid of this. Clear out this space. Um. Yep. We can try this mode here and go a little faster. That one goes. And now we need to re reroute these a little bit better. Conveyor from here to here. Down, around, up, and then this guy we can just kind of rotate or something. Doesn't need to, uh... Uh, I'm still in the destruction menu. Something like that. I think these may feed in. We'll see what happens to these little nuggets over here. Yeah, they're gonna move over and get in the barrels. We may need even more barrels. That one's full, that one's got a lot, and that one's almost full. We'll see how to process that. I'm not sure. Let's see. What's next? I think we gotta stay focused on the steel, to be honest. Um, that's our bottleneck. We want a backlog of iron here. We want backlogs of coal. Going into both furnaces. We don't have either. This coal is not enough. We could access a little bit more here. And run it up. Don't know if that's going to be enough. Or we can use this dirt. Get a lumberjack and get another one of these guys going. Charcoal burner. They sure take up a lot of space. Um, we got coal here. We could tap into, I just, I'm unimpressed by the coal mines. Their production seems pretty low. What else we got going on here? We've got coal here. That's not supposed to be. We got another situation here where we should probably have a barrel caching this coal, but we're kind of jammed in. We'd have to rework this area. Did we... I see. Hmm. Definitely have some optimizations we could make. And we talked about getting copper going over here too, but man... We need so many steel ingots. Where can we get some more iron down here? Let's look at that for a little bit. This iron, they kind of have more than they need over here, right? These are all backed up. I wish I could put like a little overflow valve here that would just say, hey, if there's extra, send it on down this way. But I just don't think we have that yet. Let's look at the logistics blocks again. This distributor needs tin. We can't make tin yet. Hmm. This output is all mixed. And the pure iron is right here. But we would need to... Well... We could send mixed input. As long as I can connect up to this belt. That's actually not a problem. We could send these two mines, their output down, straight down, and connect up to this belt right here, and that would get us more iron. We're gonna need more coal too, though, look. Man, oh man. How do we want to do it? How do we want to do it? Get a mess over here, for sure. Copper is a joke. Look at the <laughs> look at these little copper ink little nuggets of ore, like one every is it two a minute? 
Yeah, it is. It's two a minute or less. Let's say one every 30 seconds. Yeah, that's so sad. We may need to do two copper mines here and take advantage of these little tiny deposits. So shift this one up and then put one below it. That might be necessary to maximize the resources we've got on the map. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I'm just kind of speculating on what we're going to do next. Lots of stuff, right? One is amp up the steel production. We need more coal. We need more iron, particularly for the production of ingots. We've got a little bit there. Right now, our blast furnace is staying busy, but you can see the buffer is decreasing. Is there anything I messed up over here? Are these guys? I did messed up over here. Let's fix this. This could be part of the problem. Let's change plans and dedicate a dirt mine to each of these until we get better blocks. I think that's what we're going to need to do. So we'll let this dirt run through here, but from now on this, this mine is going to provide for here. But this has been kind of halted, stalled. Um, the lumberjacks are okay. I think they're going to be able to keep up just fine. I think. One per charcoal mine. Or charcoal burning mound. We've got dirt here. we got a bunch of opportunities we could do over here with dirt and create another one. I think we're going to have to do that. I don't know how we're going to get by without more charcoal. Maybe that's one thing we look at. More charcoal production over here somewhere and send that fuel down into the um, the iron smelter here. Like right now it's waiting. This one, the blast furnace, I think will catch up. I think the charcoal will catch up. We had this charcoal mound basically turned off. I think it will catch up. And two can keep that going. We could look at the machine ratios and calculate that, but I think we'll just eyeball it. I think we're going to be all right. See, where do we end up on steel plates? 58. Ingots were slowly, slowly starting to accumulate those again. The drill takes a ton. Where was that guy? That was... Where was that guy? Compactor we gotta get to. Here it is, the shaft drill. 180 steel ingots. What's the other research that we need? It's copper. Oh, it's all this stuff. Yeah, we need copper wire. We've got, we got our work cut off for us. We've got plenty to do. Um, while we're waiting for steel ingots to produce, we got a bunch of other stuff to do. The copper, the compacted coal. The wire, the water. Lots. All right, well, we'll pick it up next episode for now. This is Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Enjoy having you here with me on this journey of drill down. I'm really, really enjoying this game. Uh, at first look, I wasn't hooked. But once you start playing it and you start getting familiar with the controls, it's a little on the addicting side. Again, I kinda, it's kind of a puzzly factory game. We got a bunch of iron ore here we're not using. And uh, we'll just see. See if we can um, improve our factory and de-spaghettify it. We've been doing pretty good converting over to barrels. I think that's a wise move. Like here's some storage we can get rid of. So we'll do a little cleaning and we'll do a little expansion next episode. Again, Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode.